Hello everybody, welcome to the I Am IT YouTube channel. My name is Shabazz Dan, as ever, I am the IT geek. Um, I am the IT geek that's now in Australia, I've, I've uh, fully emigrated now. Um, so that's why there's a big gap between me creating some, you know, creating my content. Uh, kind of had most of December, most of January off, because that's when I was moving. But I'm back now and we're continuing with our Microsoft VDI series. Um, last episode, you saw we were continuing the um, sort of Windows 365 topic where we'll talk about certain scenarios and sizing options uh, with Windows 365. So we're moving on again today um, where we're going to talk a little bit more about, you know, troubleshooting Windows 365 and we'll do a little demo at the end as well. So without further ado, let's get started with this video. Uh, so this is the Microsoft VDI series. We've already done DevBox. Um, this is the moment now we're going to do Windows 365. And we're going to finish off the series in about five or six episodes time. We'll move on to talking about uh, AVD, which is where it all started with Microsoft Cloud VDI, to be honest. Um, so we um, today is about business troubleshooting, Windows 365 business troubleshooting. And specifically, we're going to talk about MDM authority. We'll talk about any sort of potential issues. And then we're going to do a bit of a demo around user settings as well. Uh, so let's talk about correctly setting up MDM Authority first of all. It's possible that uh, you might get a setup failure uh, and this is caused by the MDM Authority configuration in your environment not being, prop not being set up correctly. If you do have that, you have two sort of paths that you can follow and it much depends on whether you plan to use Intune to manage your Cloud PCs or not. And obviously in our demos we are using Cloud PC. First of all, if you are, um, if you know, if you're a user, you're planning to use Microsoft Intune for cloud PCs, um, you need to, to make sure the sort of mobility and MDM and MAM settings are correctly configured. And they're available within uh, Microsoft 365, Intune as well, or, or Azure, you can set those settings. If you don't plan to use Intune, which again, in my experience with it, I've not seen that yet, mostly it's managed for Intune. Um, if you don't want to use Intune to manage cloud PCs, you need to make sure you turn off automatic MDM enrollment. Okay, so those are two things you need to make sure um, you do. So make sure you set up Intune correctly, or if not, make sure you turn it off. Make sure you turn the MDM part of it off. Um, so let's talk about that first option, which is setting up Intune correctly. Um, you know, if you already use Microsoft Intune, um, then you know you need to make sure you enable those MDM settings and MAM settings, as we mentioned. These are available in Microsoft Entourage ID. That's where you want to really set it. Um, you know, if, if the automatic enrollment of the new cloud PCs into Intune setting is turned on, uh, users might see their cloud PCs fail to complete um, the sort of setup in the Windows 365 homepage. And this failure can be caused by various settings on your tenant. Um, and just make sure you, you sort of look at your logs and things like that. Um, so there's various settings that can cause these failures. You need to make sure you troubleshoot that correctly. Let's talk about the potential issues that might cause this so the error might be to complete the setup uh, ask your administrator to resolve the following um, update policy settings in Microsoft Intune to enroll this device so that might be the error that you see some troubleshooting steps make sure you check the Intune settings um, you may have sort of previously set on your tenant and once the issue has been fixed either you or the, the user can reset that cloud PC uh, another potential issue that you might see is uh, you might see the error where it says to complete setup. Ask your administrator to resolve the following. Remove restrictions preventing Intune from allowing Windows enrollment. So you may have to set up some sort of enrollment restriction you, or you may have set up enrollment restrictions on your Intune tenant. Um, so remove those, set, you know, remove those restrictions and once you've done that, um, either you or the user can then reset that as well. So a third potential sort of issue you might see is or an error you might get is to complete the setup, ask your administrator to resolve the following. Correct the configuration of the mobile device management or MDM discovery URL in Intune. So here you need to confirm that the MDM discovery URL is, is the, the default for Intune. And then once that MDM discovery URL has been set to default, again, you or the user can, can do that reset um, of your cloud PC. Okay, so let's jump into the demo where we're going to uh, look at the user settings. Okay, we are back in Microsoft Intune and we want to go to Devices, uh, Windows 365. And right at the end here, you'll see user settings. Now, here's where we can, again, add a sort of user setting uh, policy. So first of all, we just need to give it a name. Let's call it Win365-settings. Uh, and if you look at here, we can first of all enable local admin. So enabling this setting is going to elevate the end user to a local admin 
uh, on their cloud PC. And if, if this is an environment where, um, let's say you, you've not got a lot of IT um, infrastructures and you've not got a, a big IT team, you might have one or two people, you might not have any IT, for example. You might have someone in another department kind of doing day-to-day -day support as and when they can. It does happen in smaller businesses. Um, and it'll be the local admin so people can do stuff themselves. My help, again, it's going to lower that sort of overhead for you, for any IT staff that you do have, the very few IT staff you might have. So that's always worth looking into whether or not that's required. Um, and again, depending on what job the person does, who, you know, they might work remotely, they might not have a great internet connection, um, which allow, you know, allows them to, to use Windows 365, but doesn't really allow them to, um, you know, might not allow remote connectivity, or, or well, there could be many reasons. Point is, the, you know, enabling that will allow the local user to be elevated to local admin. Um, and again, there's the next option is enable users to reset their own cloud PCs. Again, another really useful option. And uh, you enable this, then it's going to allow the target users to reprovision the cloud PCs from within the Windows 365 app and web app. Again, just going to going to minimise the sort of support overhead. Again, if you've got a small team or a non-existent IT team, then um, this is going to be good for users to be more self um, reliant, self service sort of type stuff. We then have point in time uh, restore service. So you can, this is the point in time restore service can be used to restore a user's cloud PC to a backup made at a specific point in time. Again, you can allow the users to initiate that and have frequency of restore point. Again, depending on what your requirements are. If, if you know, if you need access to previous data regularly, then you know, more small, shorter intervals. Then four hours is the way to go. You can do every 24 hours, depends on what your needs are. Um, and finally, um, at the bottom, we've got the cross-region disaster recovery. This is optional, um, so you can protect cloud PCs during regional outages as well. Um, again, depends what region you're in and, and you know, if you have, have experienced many outages. Um, so you, you need to make sure you've purchased and assigned the Windows 365 cross-region disaster recovery license. So this is a licensed option as well. Okay, so you can go on next. Um, you can add your add whatever group you want to it. Um, so I sign it to, let's just go ABD users, select, click next, then create. And that's our user settings created. So again, you can decide which one of those settings you want. Um, we are getting closer to creating that provisioning policy. Um, something that might be in the next video where we do a demo the one after that, I'm not sure, but we'll be doing that soon. And then we'll be able to provision our Windows 365 um, instance. So again, thank you for joining me. I've got some useful links in the description. Uh, I'll put a link to to sort of the previous video, but also a link to some of my socials. Make sure you you know hit me up on LinkedIn. Uh, I am no longer on Twitter. I decided to leave Twitter because I just wasn't getting the engagement. And if I'm honest, it was just a lot of politics on there. Um, not not IT politics, just world politics. Uh, I just found it to be quite toxic, so I decided to come off Twitter. So I'm no longer on Twitter. So I'm using LinkedIn for for all my sort of social posts as well. I do a bit of TikTok, but that's called kind of, you know personal sort of a day in the life little TikTok videos about my Australia move. So if, you, you know, if you're interested in that, by all means, take a look. Make sure you subscribe. I, you know, I hit 23K last year um, and I'm really looking to build on that. So you know, I appreciate everyone's support, continue to support. Um, and you know, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe button and drop me a comment, you know, by all means. I'm always willing, like hearing feedback, you know, as long as it's productive. So thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.